Hey, folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Rakan, Rakan, I hope I'm saying that right, writing in on the email. The heading of the email is buy an A7 III now or wait for Canon. So it's an interesting question. He says, Dear Art of the Image, thank you for all the reviews and advice you're giving out on a regular basis. I'm just a hobbyist looking to go pro. I was saving up to buy the a7 III with a couple of lenses upgrading for a Nikon D5300. But now I keep hearing about a new Nikon mirrorless camera aiming at the Sony a7 III. Nikon is also rumored to introduce a new Z mount for very fast lens. With the vast array of lens compatible with Nikon, I was thinking of holding off buying the a7 III for a while. But then again, this would be Nikon's first shot at a mirrorless camera. What do you think? Thank you in advance. Huge fan of yours. Rack on. Well, thank you for your question. And again, I hope I'm getting your name right. Um, the a7 III is a great, cra- great camera. My problem with Sony is, as I've said before, um, the lack of value-priced lenses that are good performers. And so you typically would just have to spend more money. Uh, the, the camera's a good deal. It's a very good deal, the a7 III. As long as you're okay with the pricing on the Sony lenses, then by all means. Uh, me, I would probably, if you could wait... I would, um, but if you're looking to go pro, we don't know how long it's going to be till we get this. It's probably early 2019, so maybe you shouldn't wait. Maybe, um, I guess it depends what your time frame is on looking to go pro, and if you feel you need the upgraded cameras, you probably do coming from a 5300, um, but you could also, unless you're going to shoot a lot of video, you could look at a used or a refurbed 610 or an 810 or an 800E to get you shooting. That gets you into the Nikon world, the Nikon lenses, and then if they come out with the camera you want in the mirrorless, uh, then you upgrade to that, and you probably won't lose much on getting rid of those bodies. The other thing is is that um, you, if you do need video, you could you could straddle a system. You could get an 800E and use like a G85 or a G7 like I'm shooting with right now, the G85. Those are options, and it keeps you in the Nikon world and the Nikon lenses, and then you can go to that. If you want to go with the Sonys, certainly, as I said, the A7 III is probably one of the best value all-rounded bodies out there right now. I just don't like what you have to spend to get into really good lenses. Let me throw it back to our viewers, though. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you... Um, I guess, do you agree with me on the lens front? Uh, would you buy an A7 III? Would you go with a, a, a Nikon uh, 610 or an 800E or something right now and wait it out? What would you do? What would you recommend Rockon does? Let us know what you do and why in the comments below. Let's help them out. Always great to hear your feedback, your opinions. Helps our viewers kind of sort out some uh, other factors to consider before they make a purchase. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.